welcome to another episode of the Rod Shop Lockdown. Yeah, we actually had a great show again for today uh, that we recorded a day or two ago. But first, let's just uh, sort out the bills. This episode is brought to you by Rockford Fuscate. Now, we all got the bad news last night uh, that we're all going to be staying home for a lot, lot longer. Um, and it's scaring me because I am running out of beer. But Rockford Fastgate and SA Hot Rods are collaborating on a new competition. So check out the links and keep a look out at SA Hot Rod page and Rockford Fastgate page because we'll be launching a really, really cool competition from next, next week if all goes well. Um, so yeah, so please remember, um, subscribe to our page or like us or follow us in, in any way. Uh, we really like the support. We are, so far we've had good response from the show. We've got some really cool people that's still coming. We've got a lot of international guys that's coming onto the show soon as well. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's check out this interview we did with Jason Webb. Enjoy. All right, so we are live with Jason Webb. Jason, thank you so much for being on the show. It's uh, good to see you. Thanks for having me, Joe. I haven't seen you in such a long time. Before <laughs> it's been it's been quite a while. <laughs> and meetings um, nowadays to, are over the phone. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like <laughs> at least at least we can sit and drink beer while while we while we meet having dinner. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll, I'll drink my coffee. <laughs> But let's, let's just do an introduction from your side. Tell people who you are and what you do. Yeah, well, I'm Jason Webb. I'm three-time South African Super Drift Champion. And I've been drifting now since 2011. Um, last year, I had a bit of a break off the drifting scene. But th this year, we've come back. We dr I drive the Monster Energy Roush Performance Ford Mustang. Um, probably one of the baddest machines in the drift, uh, drift circuit here in South Africa. <laughs> Uh, it's convertible as well, which makes it quite unique. And it being a Mustang on the drift scene is quite unique in itself. So I'm super, super proud to have the, you know, the affiliations I have on board. And so let's start from the beginning. I mean, where where did all of this come from? Where where did the whole racing thing? I mean, what what was that that moment that started everything for you? Motorsport started for me basically as a young kid. My father was always my biggest influence in the whole motorsport scene. Uh, my brothers, my brother used to race motocross and main circuit racing. My dad used to do drag racing and main circuit, ra main circuit racing. So I always used to go down and watch them as well as my cousin. And the one day I actually saw drifting at Kalani and I was like, I used to actually race go-karts back at that time. This was around 2009. And then I saw Otto Graven and his brother Ronnie drifting around Kalani. And I was like, damn, that looks so exciting. Like, I really want to do that. And um, a year later, my dad got a phone call to build some cars for Otto to get sent to America. So my dad went up there and Otto was looking for someone to train. And he brought me up to Kimberley and we, we first played around with the go-karts a little bit and, you know, on the quad bikes, having a bit of fun on the bikes. And then we moved over into a drift car. And as soon as I got in the car, I just felt, you know, comfortable and one with the car and no, knew exactly what, or didn't know exactly what to do, but I mean... Mm. You know, I learned very quickly and um, I wasn't allowed to compete either until I was up to standard, um, which was quite a, quite a nice thing. You know, I didn't have to learn in any drift events or anything like that. Mm. And um, my training was very, very particular. You know, everything, I had to do everything in order. I had to, you know, obviously start with the basics, start with handbrake, handbrake for about a week, just so you yeah. get that consistency, you know, it's, and it's, you know, if you make a mistake, you get out the car, you take a walk. And um, if you don't spend um, time in the car, you're not having fun, you know. So, <laughs> so exactly. you stop making mistakes, so you can spend more time in the car. Yeah. No, take, just take that, take that minute to just calm yourself and don't get frustrated, don't get angry, and you know. Yeah. Look, I, I, I've been yeah. in, I've been in the car with you, dude. You, you are one of the most relaxed people I've ever seen. Be honest. <laughs> I, I, in actual fact, I think us driving from the airport to a meeting you were more hectic than when you were in the drift car. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the way I explained to someone that the, the one day driving with you is like controlled chaos. You know? and, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you're yeah, sitting in the much. car and you're having this chat with, with me and outside it's just 
smoke time, <laughs> everything going on. It's, it's, I'm uh, in my comfort zone. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, so, so you, you got onto the track. I mean, look, at you, you, you've got one of the sponsors everybody wants. I mean, you got Monster. How, how did that go? How did that whole thing with Monster come together? Yeah, that actually started right in the beginning in 2011. Um, I actually had Mike and Jim help me out to try and, you know, speak to the guys who were working here with Monster in South Africa. They had a good relationship with them and they helped me get on board. And I've been on board with Monster Energy since 2011 and I've been so grateful for that. It's obviously such a huge brand name to have behind your name and to be affiliated with them is, is amazing. And then to get obviously Roush from 2017 was just the cherry on the cake, you know. Mm. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything better, especially in a, a country that we're in, the motorsport scene, which, in relatively speaking, is quite quite dead. You know, yeah. so to have these sponsors is really really cool. But uh, but you you've raced overseas as well, haven't you? Um, yeah, you've yeah, I've driven in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went. I drove in London at uh, Linden Hill, and I drove also in, in Gatville in Norway. And I did a, a few fun events in Finland. And um, yeah, it's, it's all thanks to Monster Energy. You know, they took me over there and um, get, got me cars and got to meet really cool people. And, yeah. how, how is that compared to South Africa? I mean, the driving style, the, the whole infrastructure, is it very different to South Africa? Oh, yeah, completely, completely different. They've just, it's just, they, they've, I don't know how they do it, but they, they look past like all the the competitiveness side of things and you know things like that and they just they just want to drive and have fun they don't really care about the whole competitive side of things um yeah, yeah, yeah. unless you go to a comp an actual competition you know um but the events i did was just there was like 60 drifters on the same track at the same time just having fun and i mean we don't get the circuits like they do the, the circuit time the seat time, like the only seat time I get is at drift events, which is mm. quite ridiculous. But it is what it is, you know, it's all we got. So you tell 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 the boys from from um performance center that they they need to build you a track now. Or well, that'll just go oh, around the one in the go around the office. <laughs> <laughs> we got one in the back there. We got a nice uh, private street in the back. <laughs> Excellent. I mean so last year like you said you you, you took a you took a year off um and, and what did you just want to get everything ready from your side relook at everything or what what was the story? yeah i wasn't i wasn't very comfortable with how competition was going in south africa it, it, for me it, there was no competition for me mm. so i mean i was winning pretty much every event when i was i was driving in and i wasn't happy with that because i wasn't driving you know i didn't feel like i was like sure I, like i really had to drive for that win you know yeah. And for me, I want to feel that through events, you know, I want to be like, oh, that was a tough win. Yeah. But if I'm walking through events, I mean, I, I don't want to sound like cocky or anything, don't get me wrong. Mm. But I, I, I'm, I'm a competitive guy. I want to be competitive. I just, I don't want to just repetitively win, you know. No, but so your, me, your competitors push you. I mean, they, they're the guys that yeah. make you better. That's the, they're the guys you strive that, you know, to compete with. That's why where your skill comes from is being better every time. If there's nothing, there's nothing to compete. Obviously you'll get bored with it. You know? Yeah, no, hundred percent. So that's why this year I'm going back in it. Um, there's another few other drivers that are also starting to drive now again. So I I'm excited to get back in the car again and, you know, have a, have a drift event again. I'm, I'm actually going to uh, get a hold of Jim and Mike and them so we can have a discussion and find out what's happening with, drifting in South Africa, especially now after the lockdown, um, to see yeah. where it goes and where the events are. It's just, it, 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 to me, it's just, I, I don't understand why it's not pulling the spectatorship and, and everything. I mean, you and I have had this conversation a few times about you know, the industry and how to build it up and you know, get the guys behind it. Um, but I don't know if it's just motorsport in general that's just suffering at the moment. Yeah. yeah, no, I think it is. I mean, if you go to any motorsport event, it's unless it's like a drag event. But I mean, for some reason, the drag event seems to just pull the crowds, you know. Mm. Drag racing is one of the biggest stimulants of motorsport we have in this country, and it just pulls the people. But it's great. But when it comes to main circuit, main yeah. circuit or drifting or motocross or go-karting, there's no people. Like. There's, no, there's no spectator. There's no spectatorship. Spectators, yeah. 
You know, I, I remember when, when the Monster, Monster Jam guys were in South Africa. Um, yeah. We, I've got a fly that's attacking me. <laughs> um, so the thing that amazed me about the, the, the American setup and stuff, and it, it was something I think I spoke to Claire Vale about it at one stage as well. Mm-hmm. But we, they're keeping the, the, the drivers stay away from the fans. There's no interaction really between mm-hmm. drivers and fans and stuff at the moment. Um, yeah. You know, Monza, uh, these events, you get there and there's T-shirts and there's caps and everything's there. You can go meet the driver. You know, you can meet your hero. You can get stuff signed and all this type of stuff. And I, I, I keep feeling yeah. that that's a part we, we're losing in South Africa. We don't have that interaction. It's always like the driver's mm. over there and the spectators are over there. And you can get to see the now now, but that's it. It's not that one-on-one like, yeah. like they have in the year. I know what you mean, yeah. No. I think yeah, I see what you mean. Mm. We're missing that whole interaction part of things, which, are, which I mean, we do interact with the crowds, but not on that level. Exactly. I'm not, I mean, Monster, yeah. Monster's great with that. I mean, when they bring the guys in and, and that type of stuff, they, they bring that, that yeah. element in it. But I, I just think that they need to do it for the, the, whole, the whole thing. Um, that, I think we, we need to build heroes, uh, if that makes, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Um, you know, we need idols, things yeah, like that. Yeah, we do. I mean, look, you, you, you are a phenomenal driver. Um, and you know, I, I, I think, you know, to me, if I looked at that last year, the year before when you were racing, you were right. I, I was saying to, to my wife and everybody that you had no competition. Um, yeah. you, you basically had to put the car on a ship and go to the US or somewhere to go compete, you know? Yeah, um, and it also like it got irritating for me. Like every time I got ready to go in events, people were just like, "Oh, you're gonna win, you're gonna yeah. win," you know. And it's it's like and I'll tell myself that as a confidence thing. Like just tell myself like I'll win as a confidence booster and just you know to get an edge on my my competitors. Mm. But it's like it was just it was expected of me not to yeah. say like yeah, I don't know how to put it, but it's like everyone just expected me that I was going to win. I was just like, no, and there was no competition type of thing, which I didn't enjoy. I didn't enjoy that at all. Yeah. 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 Jason, I've been working with this. We still worked with the Mustang thing from the beginning. Um, I think Ryan and myself from Monster were drinking beer at a drifting event when we came up with, mm. uh, with the idea for <laughs> <laughs> all of this. Um, and, and then, I mean, because... Because they said at that stage you, you were driving the, the, the S, what's it, the S13 or S14? Yeah. Yeah. The S13, yeah. Then they, they needed you to be in a more marketable car than, than anything else. And we, we knew then that this is, was going to change everything. I mean, it was the first time, yeah. you know, with, with, it was the first time a production company or actual, excuse me, manufacturer got involved, like Solical got involved with drifting, in, with drifting in South Africa. Um, yeah. with Ford, Ford supplying the car and, and everything like that, but I, we I did not see that that was the impact that it would that that it would do that it would it put you that that far. Put it get how can I put it? the other guys just had to catch up basically more than yeah. anything else, which is I mean it sounds yeah. horrible, um, and it, it's not for lack of drivers and skill from the guys side. I think it's more just the power and build and you know having that backing and stuff that that was different yeah so yeah no for sure and i mean uh, i've got a ton of experience on my hands as well so you know that really really helps oh well, and yeah. also knowing the car and building the car together with my father and things like yeah. that really helps with that getting is, to know the car you know dude I, when you got when you guys did that car that was just insane i've never seen them cut <laughs> so much metal I mean, I, I think I, I could. I picked up the whole nose of your car the one day <laughs> when the motor was out. Yeah. It was so light. Um, yeah. But it was such a learning curve. But I mean, by the time Rush and them came on onto the scene, I mean, you already had what two two wins behind behind your belt, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I won two championships in 2013 and 2015, mm. uh, um, and then. Almost got another one. Well, 2016, I broke my knee, so I couldn't drive. That's when I went to go drive in Europe. Yeah. And then 2017 was when I got the Mustang, which we missed the first two or yeah. three events. Yes. But we still managed to get third in the championship. Mm. So, uh, four, three out of the four events we did do, we won them. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Then you had that big, 
then you had that big accident as well. Where was that? There was a Desi, yeah. there. Yeah, Desi went you know, straight into that tractor tire. What happened? Just buried <laughs> off. Actually, the, the left front shock collapsed. Oh, and it was a pity. There was a passenger in the car with us as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, so as we went through one of the dips at Desi, I hit the dip as I switched, and I was like, oh, this car is going straight for this tire wall. Yeah. And there was nothing I could do about it. I ah. tried to go backwards, sideways, but it was just going forward, which is the worst way you can go into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I, actually, I watched that, I watch that one online. And, um, yeah. I'm, just, I'm sorry. <laughs> How did that? Dude, we just did that. How did you break it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, no, uh, but then then you came back. I mean, what you, you basically won every what the, the not last year, the year before you won every event, or except one, wasn't it? Except for one, yeah, yeah. And, but the, the, and that one you lost in the technicality or or something, what didn't you? Yeah, they said I dropped two wheels off the off the track. I don't believe I did. But I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Like you said, it comes down to look at it. It's, it, it reminds me of back in the day with Michael Schumacher when he was like cleaning up the whole time, you know? And like, it's, it's, it's probably not good for the sport when you've got the same guy winning every time because everybody's like, yeah, he's going to win yeah. the point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least, yeah, like yeah. You, say, you, you need that. You need that competitive, competitive edge. But there's some cool cars coming out now. I mean, uh, what's it, Chris Long? He's coming in with the. Uh, was that new Toyota? What that they've done? Yeah, yeah. that Auris. Yeah, it's got the same engine like the Mahan Mustang has in with the Coyote V8 supercharged. Mm -hmm. And how how yeah. does that motor? I don't, know, I, don't really, I haven't seen a drive, so. Yeah, I, I don't know how, how it performs or anything. Because that's quite short. Eh? I mean, it's a very short, short wheel base. Um, well, the wheelbase is the same. It just doesn't yeah. have a boot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So the wheelbase. Yeah. Is the same. yeah. But I mean, it is a bit of a mind, mind. Yeah. A mind altering <laughs> chain. Exactly. Because yeah. like you have to go an extra meter closer to the wall now. It's <laughs> kind of weird. Oh, but you've got a massive bonnet in front of you for from. <laughs> <laughs> to, to no, I can't right. even see over my bonnet. Exactly, exactly. Is, is that the coyote, is that actually taking the punishment quite, quite nicely or? Oh man, that I, I can't believe, like we have, we have not touched that engine since 2017. All we do is change oil and it runs absolutely amazing. And you, you guys know, have, like, cause you guys have a supercharger on that as well, hey? Yeah, yeah, the supercharger. I mean, running, we're running eight, over 800 horsepower, you know, with the ethanol and the Haltech ECU. So, I mean, I think, I don't know how she, she's still going, but I mean, she's taking a lot of pounding. Is it? Yeah, but I mean, you, you yeah. just keep that thing in the revs constantly, hey? And yeah. Then, I mean, it sings. There's always stuff on, on these things that guys want to know. I mean, like tires, how, how many on a, on a testing or on a weekend for an event, how many tires sets do you guys go through normally? On a drift event, we go through anywhere between 20, 30 new tires. Why? Because if you think about it, yeah. I mean, we do two laps on a set of tires. So you got qualifying, which is a set of tires. Then you got top 16, top eight, top four finals. And that's without, that's 10 tires without even practice. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you must, and so you have at least another 10 for practice. And then you haven't, then you haven't included any one more times. If you need to change tire, you have one more time. Yeah. So you and have between 20 and 30 new tires. They said that's the most expensive part of the sport is, is tires, the constant supply. Yeah, hundred percent. And and it's and it's very difficult to get you know full blown tire sponsorship here in South Africa with the with the and, lack of um, media and things that that this that we get. Yeah, have you guys and have you guys got someone lined up this year for for tires on your side, or are you guys still looking? No, no. Yeah, we're still still looking. Exactly. Well, like, I, mean, I mean, I've been driving for so long and I've been trying. Exactly. Out of everybody, you should be the one that's easier to get to, to get to it. Yeah. But you know, other people know other people who know other people and then they get it. And <laughs> hey, dude, that, that's, the, that's the way, that's the way it works in South Africa. It's, it's, it's about who you know. <laughs> yeah.
Jason, so, so uh, from, from your career, where, where do you see yourself going forward? What, what's on the cards now? I, I, I hear um, Grant said you're coming to do the uh, Nisner Hill Climb, Samoa Hill Climb. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to do the Samoa Hill Climb with Performance Center. So I'm super excited about that. And I'm not going uh, sideways up it. I mean, they, they want me to go straight up the mountain. <laughs> Just do it once. <laughs> so Just <I'm> once. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to doing that and, and just doing more more driving, you know, more demos and things like that. Getting get just, just more sea time, really, oh, wherever it is. Get get uh, get out there as much as possible. I mean, look, that that's yeah. that's the that's the thing. Yeah, you know? keep keep yourself busy. Keep yourself in the seat. You know, that's 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 the yeah, way. no, hundred percent. Sorry, um, yeah. Long term goal is obviously to to go and drive overseas and get a drive overseas. Mm. Um, Obviously, won't live there or anything, but just to to be able to drive in an overseas uh, series or or an event or two, you know, that's that's obviously my goal. Mm. Um, and to compete in like Formula Drift or or something like that would be oh, dude, that would be the insane. In the, in the, you know, that's that's where I really want to be. Yeah, it's to to get to Formula Drift. Um, yeah, because I mean that whole infrastructure, everything has changed on that side now. Um, to, to, I mean, that, that is actually possible now for you to get into Formula Drift, isn't it? Yeah, well, fortunately, with the championships here in South Africa, I'm, I'm eligible to enter into, like, Formula Drift, the pro category, which is quite nice, you know. So I don't I think, have to go through the pro -am series or anything. Jason, listen, thanks for, for having the chat with us. Listen, and all the best, dude. All the best for the career and for this year for the driving. Yeah. And next time I'm in Joburg, dude, you better take me for a spin. Because I, I said to Grant that I was in the car. I wasn't. I wasn't. I was in your um, in the Nissan. I wasn't in the Mustang. So you still owe me a driver. Oh, so you have to. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Yeah. And it's and it's at, at the moment it's at the Ferrari exhaust system for a new exhaust system. Really? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Before, before we before we go off, tell us what are you doing to it now? I mean, Grant said you guys are upgrading it and changing things. So what are you guys doing to it? Yeah, well, we we're busy upgrading the whole exhaust system now. So it had the one outlet out the out the passenger side. We're going to do a double flat outlet oh, out either side. You're going H and S, H pipe, um, yeah. Yeah, and then also we got a new. It's still on the cards though, but we got a an, another oil company on board. Um, mm -hmm. We're still finalizing a few things there, and um, yeah, just a few neating neatening up things in the engine bay and tweaking the engine a little bit and. You know, getting everything refined and ready for the day, ready for the year again. Dude, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Um, yeah, well, thanks for having me. I'll see. I'll hopefully with the next event. Let me see if I can get my ass through there. Um, if not, yeah, I'll definitely cool. see you in Joburg. Um, and then uh, yeah, we can go grab a grab a coffee. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll drink a beer then. <laughs> <Okay. early now. laughs> All right, man. Let's look after yourself. Uh. Okay. Okay, man. Yeah, thanks. you too. We'll chat soon. Yes. Okay, cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye.